Number 71. Given the following reactions and the corresponding rate laws, in which of the reactions might the elementary reaction and the overall reaction be the same? Okay, so in this case, we have to determine with this set of data, right, we have a one reaction here and we have one rate law. We need to find out if this reaction is the overall and an elementary reaction. Now just know that if you have an elementary reaction, with, which is one single step, so if you're saying that this is a elementary reaction, it's just a single step. An overall reaction is when you have, you know, one, it's got to be more than one, but one, two, three steps combined to get a final reaction. Now, when an elementary, and maybe we'll write this down, if you have an elementary reaction and you want it to equal the overall reaction, that just means that you only have one step. It's a single step process because you're basically saying that your elementary reaction is one step, right? And this is going to equal the overall reaction. And if your elementary is one step, the overall is going to be one. One step. And if that's the case, the rate law has to come from the elementary reaction, right? So your rate law will have to be, you know, in accordance with the elementary reaction. And keep in mind that a rate law is rate equals K, the rate constant, times the concentration of the reactants raised to their orders. Now, the, the special thing here is that if we have a elementary reaction, those exponents are going to be the coefficients. So let's see if this matches. We have ClO2, which is right here. So we have that reactant, and we have CO, carbon monoxide, which is right here. So the reactants are the same. But now let's see if the coefficients are the same. I have one Cl2, but in my rate law, this is raised to the 3 over 2. That's 1.5. These do not match. If the rate law is coming from that elementary step or the elementary reaction, it's got to be exact from that reaction. And since I have one here, and then this automatically gets raised to the 3 over 2, and they don't match, this would not be the case. So in this step, would the elementary reaction and the overall be the same? The answer is no, not the same. Because the equation that they gave us is not identical to the rate law. And that's it. That's all we got to do. Just compare the uh, balanced equation to the rate law and see if they're the same. In this case, they're not. So they're not the same. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. Um, you guys rock. Keep studying hard, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.